Welcome back friends. Namaste. This is Harshita and Manasvi. Our fast pace of life promotes overstimulation leading to changes in our attention and thinking. Hence, it becomes important to be more mindful and resilient. Let us see some ways to get better with calming our brain and body together. Sarvangasana Candle Pose Let us look at two versions of candle pose. One simpler version for kids who cannot do shoulder stand. As the name suggests, Sarva Anga Asana. It helps most of the body systems, supports endocrine systems, promotes blood flow to the brain, alleviates sinus issues, aids digestion. List of benefits will go on. Let's fire the candle now. Halasana, flow pose. Please avoid this in case of neck pain or injury. Flow pose should be done slowly and mindfully. As the name suggests, it helps to rejuvenate both body and mind. Amongst the long list of benefits, few are stretches the shoulders and spine, stimulates abdominal organs, relieves stress and exhaustion calming our mind. While this is one variation of candle pose, let's quickly look at another variation called Karnapidasana with similar benefits. Matsyasana or fish pose is considered as a counter asana to sarvangasana or candle pose. Please avoid this pose if child is under 6 years. Make sure head is supported properly with back, neck and shoulders. By doing this pose the right way, we will stretch and stimulate all muscles and organs of the front side of our body. Improves posture, opens chest and lungs. Strengthens the muscles of upper back, shoulders and neck. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.